everyone, it's Ashley, and I have had a lot of requests recently to share how I clean my makeup brushes. So let me start by saying this. I have heard that brushes that use like concealers or liquids, um, foundations, things like that, like these two, you should clean every day. I have um, heard that brushes like this, more like powder type brushes, eyeshadow brushes, it's good to do these once a week. I'm gonna be honest with you, I do these kind about once a week and these ones about once a month, maybe every three weeks or so. It's so important you clean your makeup brushes, it extends the life of them and it helps to keep all that yucky bacteria off of your face and nasty things growing in them. So be sure you're cleaning your makeup brushes. Okay, so the soap that I use is Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap. This one happens to be, which one is this? This is the almond one. Um, there is a baby one that might be better. I've never used it for my brushes, but I know it's there's no scent to it. So if scents bother you, then you might wanna go with the baby one. These soaps can, they're so concentrated, they can be used for so many things. I have heard a lot of people use Dawn to clean their makeup brushes. We are um, a very non-toxic household. I don't have um, things like Dawn, so this is what I use, okay, and this works great. You can get this at, I've seen it at Target, health food stores, Amazon. The next thing you need is like a little dish like this. I filled this almost halfway full with lukewarm water. Do not use really hot water because what that does is that is going to get up in there um, where the glue is and it might loosen the hairs on your brush. Okay, so lukewarm. I put literally a drop or two of this. I mentioned it is very concentrated. A little bit goes a really long way. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your brush and you don't want to, the reason why you don't wanna fill this a, like a ton is because when you submerge your brush, you don't want a ton of water getting up in here. So just put it in and just kind of swirl it around, all right? And I do that for like, I don't know, 30 seconds. Now, I literally just cleaned this brush. As you can see, the water's getting a little dirty. This is like my blusher brush. Um, but I just cleaned these. If, if you saw my photo, I just cleaned these over the weekend. So um, they're not gonna be that bad. Okay, so I do that. Now here's what you don't wanna do. Okay, I'm gonna do it for a second. You don't wanna smash it down and then swirl it because that's just gonna ruin your brush over time. So just carefully let the bristles touch the bottom, swirl it around. And then after I do that, I usually have the water running on a lukewarm, okay? And I take a little bit of, I take a, my wet hand and I just put like a tad bit of that soap in my hand. And then I take the brush and I lightly do that on my hand. Again, I don't smash it like that and then swirl it. I just lightly do that just to make sure I'm getting everything off, okay? And I might even take my fingers a little bit and just kind of separate the bristle or the hairs and clean it that way. Now, when you're doing a brush like this that's thicker, it's even better to kind of get your fingers in there lightly and um, get all that makeup out of there, okay? So what I do, and you always want to keep your brush in this direction facing down as much as possible because you don't want to do this and then have that water sinking into your brush, um, into that base like I mentioned to you. Okay, so after I feel that it's clean and the water and the soap is all running free, Sometimes it takes a little bit too if you haven't cleaned them for a while. Then I just run it under like that. Again, always facing down, okay? Put that back up. And I get all that soap out of there. Once all that soap is out, I just wring it really carefully like this. Don't pull down, you'll pull the hairs out. I wring it to get all the excess water out and there you go. And then I'm gonna show you the most amazing thing ever to dry your brushes. I saw this on a YouTube video, gosh, even before Unique. Um, so I've been doing this, I've been drying my brushes like this for a few years now and I absolutely love it. It's so easy, but it's so, it's so genius. Ta-da! Okay, so this is how I dry my makeup brushes. Uh, as you can see, this is my towel rack and I have the brushes pointing down again so that water goes down instead of settling into the base here and ruining that glue. 
And then I just take rubber bands, okay, and um, just hair ties. These are hair ties. And I see how I did that, okay? And then it holds it up against the towel rack. It dries it. Ones like this that are smaller, I just kind of bunch together. And then they dry. I usually do this in the evening. Um, and then I just have them dry overnight. And they're all ready for me in the morning. So again, I cannot take credit for this genius idea. I saw this a YouTuber a few years back. So I hope this helps you to clean your brushes and yeah, have a fabulous day. Bye.